You are looking at the banner for RSNA 2011. It stands for Radiological Society of North America. Over 40,000 people came through the RSNA halls in Chicago this year. It is no coincidence that many of our large medical customers launch new products at this conference. We place trackers in the following booths. GE Healthcare, Siemens, Hitachi, Toshiba, Ezote, Trig Medical, and Civco. In addition, our OEM partner Ultrasonics placed two of its new Sonics tablet machines with GPS sensors in our booth. This year, we demonstrated both magnetic and optical trackers at RSNA. Right now, we are going to show you how our sensors are used by the ultrasonic system for guiding biopsy, nerve block, and vascular access needles to targets inside a patient's body. The speaker is John Nichols from Ultrasonics. Okay, okay roll. Okay, so I'm uh, here to demonstrate the Ultrasonics uh, GPS needle guidance system using uh, Ascension's uh, uh, magnetic needle tracking technology. Um, and I'll start by maybe explaining a little bit about what the system consists of. The system really consists of, uh, outside of the ultrasound system, four components. Uh, the first being the uh, drive bay, uh, the Trackstar drive bay, which you can see mounted here uh, against uh, the actual uh, pole of the cart. Uh, this controls the uh, transmitter and the uh, needle and probe sensors. We have the uh, transmitter itself, which is the uh, mid-range transmitter from Ascension Technologies. Uh, it's simply been packaged in uh, Ultrasonics' own uh, uh, packaging for uh, really uh, marketing and, and uh, display purposes. And then we have two additional components to the system, which consists of uh, Ultrasonics Transducer, which integrates the uh, 1.8 millimeter Ascension uh, sensor inside of it. Uh, and in this particular case, I'm holding a biopsy needle uh, from uh, Ultrasonics, which utilizes the 0.9 millimeter Ascension sensor inside of it. So all of these components together form the uh, GPS uh, needle tracking system for Ultrasonics, again using the Ascension technologies. Um, I, what I'll do is, is explain a little bit about how to get the system started so that uh, um, you know you can uh, get, get it up and running and, uh, and start to do demonstrations. Um, on the main screen of the ultrasound system there's a control over on the side which uh, uh, is the imaging modes and so I'll select the imaging modes and at the bottom of the screen you'll see a number of buttons listed, one of which says Sonics GPS. To turn the GPS system on, I'll tap the button once, and up on the main image I'll see a uh, signal bar with five uh, segments in it, which is indicating that uh, the GPS is enabled and it's telling us the relative signal strength between the sensors and the transmitter. And at the bottom of the screen it'll indicate that the current needle type is set to a biopsy uh, needle using the 09 millimeter sensor, uh, 70 millimeter long uh, uh, segment. Uh, after I've enabled the, uh, the uh, GPS system, I can go ahead and orient my probe and my needle adjacent to the transmitter. And immediately I'll see graphic representation of uh, the needle itself and the transmitter in the bottom right hand corner of the image. Um, to explain the, the graphical orientation, uh, the red line uh, denotes the actual needle. Uh, again, looking at the uh, image of the transducer face, and the green line represents the trajectory that the needle is going to take based on its current direction or orientation. In the center of the main image, there's going to be a, a set of white crosshairs on the screen. Those white crosshairs uh, indicate where the needle is going to intersect uh, or cross through the image that you currently see on the screen. So to demonstrate an, uh, an out-of-plane uh, biopsy procedure or an out-of-plane uh, access procedure, uh, I'll simply place my transducer on the Phantom itself and I'll locate the, the target of interest. Um, that target, uh, you know, uh, center it in the, the image itself. Once I have the target located, I'm going to hold my probe still and I'm going to orient my needle and place my needle so that the insertion points, uh, you know, where, where I'd like it and it can really be at any point uh, out of plane. I'll set my needle tip on the Phantom and before I actually insert the needle, I'm going to use the needle like a joystick and adjust the trajectory, which will adjust the crosshairs on the green trajectory line, uh, indicating where I can expect my needle to cross the image itself. 
once I have the crosshairs on my target, uh, I will begin the insertion of the needle, and without watching my hands or the transducer, I'll begin advancing the needle through the uh, phantom itself until the red line, red dotted line, which represents the needle, meets the X, which represents the crossing point, and you can clearly see on the image that I see the echogenicity of the distal tip of the needle uh, in the uh, image itself, which indicates that my needle tip is where I desire it to be. If you want to do further uh, verification that your needle is in fact where you want it to be, you can rotate the transducer 90 degrees to look at an in-plane approach. And as you can see from this image here, I can clearly see that my needle is in fact uh, into the vessel and centered inside the vessel. The way that the needle technologies work with the ultrasonic system uh, consists of, uh, again, the ascension center, uh, sensor in, uh, inserted inside the needle. Uh, everything above the sensor is disposed of. This particular needle does not have a sterile condom on it. This particular needle here does. This is a nerve block needle. So the sensor would be inserted into the back of the needle with the condom on. Once the sensor is inserted, the condom would then be extended down the sensor cable, giving you a sterile field from the tip of the needle uh, down the, the condom. And again, once the procedure has been uh, performed, everything gets thrown away, the sensor gets reused for the next procedure. And that concludes the demo of the ultrasonic GPS guidance system. Thank you, John.